In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to block ads on YouTube and how to whitelist specific channels that you still want to support. So part one will be going over the ad blocking and part two will be a very simple and nice way to whitelist channels by just installing one extension and then doing one simple extra step. So if you want to skip to that, then there's timestamps. Oh, and I forgot to mention this will all work for both Chrome and Firefox. So I got both web stores here. Uh, but let's get on with this. And of course, if you don't know, to block ads on YouTube, you just need an ad blocking extension. And so there's lots of them. So you can see here there's one ad block. But I think the best one is uBlock Origin because it's open source and it makes money through donations. So there's no acceptable ads, nonsense, and it's just the best one in my opinion. It also has some extra features that I'll also show you. But here, first let's go to youtube.com and just see how it looks. You can see there's a, some award show and then a bunch of other stuff. And you can see, I'll leave my computer here, but if you can see here, uh, we get an ad. So, so with uBlock Origin, all we need to do is click Add to Firefox or Chrome. It's also in the Chrome Store. Uh, it does want all of these permissions, but it is trustworthy. And you can see here it's recommended by Firefox, which means they've vetted it. So, and it's also on Chrome. I mean, I, you don't have to show you that. So now, if we click back here, we, oh, it's already gone. As you see, the ad's already gone. Go back here. Here, I think we have to reload. Uh, sometimes, but here, now there's no ads. That's just a Firefox feature, uh, and I created a new instance of Firefox, but regardless. So that's not all it can do, though. So you can see it's blocked 11 ads and trackers, uh, and to whitelist the site, you can click that, then this is to reload. Uh, and to whitelist a page, you can control click that. Uh, but I'll show you how to whitelist a YouTube channel later. Uh, and then another thing you can do is use this element zapper, which will just, I don't really know what the point of it is, but it will just zap elements and delete them. So now you can see you've deleted that. But if you reload, it'll come back. But if you use the element blocker, which is uh, this element picker, then you can pick an element, say this, and click preview. And uh, that is. So, but if I uh, click pick again, Get this whole thing, click preview, it's gone, click create, and then that's gone. So maybe you don't want to, uh, you know, get distracted here. You don't want YouTube to be as addicting. And also at the end here, uh, we can also block these. So yeah, another way to do this is right click, click block element. And uh, if you didn't pick the right one, then you can click pick. So click this, click preview. You can also adjust, like, you can make it, like, block a wider margin of things with these things, but... I don't use that myself really. Just click create. Now it's gone. And this is useful, for example, if you had the YouTube TV ad, it always comes up. You can just block that. You can block it however you want. Block anything you want. Yep. If we go into settings here, options, uh, it also has an advanced user mode that'll give you more control, but I won't go into that. Uh, and you can see here under my filters, if you want to get rid of something, this is uh, what you've blocked. So if you want to get rid of that, all you have to do is uh, delete it, click apply changes, and now when I reload it should be all back. And if you want to whitelist things, trusted sites, if you want to support your favorite you know, news website or whatever, you can do that. And one thing I forgot to mention uh, is this more and less button. So if you click less, you can just see less information here uh, if you want. If you click more though, uh, you can get some more options here. Block media, disable cosmetic filtering. So if you have an element blocked, like that will disable that. If you click even more, it'll show you all the uh, all the different processes that are running here. So it's all Google tracking here, but different websites will also have often Google or Facebook tracking, so it's not nice. And if you click I am an advanced YouTube user, as we saw before, you can actually change how you block these with over here. But I won't get into that, you can look that up on your own on YouTube or wherever. Yeah, I also forgot to mention this uh, tab here, filter lists. Uh, and I was just going to say it just has some lists that for it to automatically block. And you can import your own if you want. But it's just got some uh, lists so it'll warn you about malware and stuff. 
Uh, and there's a good demonstration of this if we go to ublock.org. Uh, you can see this is what happens if something's on the list. So usually this will happen if you're like clicking a tracking link for a affiliate link or something. But uh, you can disable strict blocking forever, or you can just click temporarily if you're lazy. You want to get to the product. It's what I've done in the past, unfortunately. And uh, now it's the website, and you can see they make money by donating. So yeah, that's all I wanted to mention. But here's the part that not a lot of people know, which is part two of this video. Yes, it's of course the whitelisting of channels. So if we look here, search uh, here, just search whitelist, it should come up. It's this chan this extension, YouTube channel whitelist, and it's here too. Whitelist for uBlock, there you can search that, and there you go. Uh, and this is for uBlock origin, but it should possibly work on other ad blockers too. Uh, so let's just install it here. Click add to Firefox, and it's not like no actively monitored. It's a pretty small extension, but it only wants YouTube.com data. So I'm inclined to trust it, but who knows? So I'm click add. Great. Okay, got it. Uh, and it's here now. See, it has options. But let me just show you how it works first. Click right reload here. Uh, and now you see, right next to the subscribe button, there is an ads button. So as with this, there's no ads. Just ignore that. Uh, and we click the ads button. Oh yes, click the ads, now ads are shown. So all we need to do is copy this, command C, or control C, and go to uBlock origin by just clicking the options thing here. Uh, and just click trusted sites and just control V this. And now it'll trust YouTube when it has this tag disable ad block, which this extension is adding for us. So I'll click OK, click Reload, and it won't show that message every time, you just have to do that one time. So now there's an ad because I clicked Check Ads, and if I were to click again, then there wouldn't be an ad, and that's for the whole channel. And the other thing this extension does is watch an ad, say so you're tired of ads from Progressive here, it adds this button here, and you can click Auto Mute this auto advertiser, uh, auto skip this advertiser or block ads from this advertiser so if you've got an ad you're tired of then you can just block that and you won't get progressive ads anymore uh, and this does work across the channel um, and so let's look at the options here you can also I would just pin this to overflow menu or even remove it from toolbar but anyway let's just see so now you can see whitelisted channel relaxed music blacklisted advertisers progressive and we can click options uh, and here's your whitelist and the ads. So you can mute ads by default. You can uh, pause the video if the ad is in the background. If the video is in the background and it plays an ad that's muted. Uh, you can also skip ad playback errors. So I guess YouTube will do that. Uh, you can also automatically skip ads. Pretty sure the YouTubers only make money if you watch the whole ad. I'm not sure about that. Um, recent ads list. You can uh, do it retroactively. And there's a MISC section, which is a uh, whitelist subscribe channels by default. You can also import and export settings. Uh, and that's it. It's a pretty nifty, useful little extension. One more thing you can also uh, access it from the YouTube channel page like that. Oh, oh yeah. Here's what I was going to show you. I forget. So I'll just go to the settings here add ons. If we go to uh, this, we go to the home page. Here's the source code for it. But also, here's the thing you should put in for your block origin. And if you're in Adblock Plus or Adblock, then you should be able to put this in, as it says here, into your uh, ad blocking whitelist. I'm pretty sure one of these, I forget which one, does have that feature already. Maybe Adblock. So you could look that up. But I recommend you block myself. But anyway. Uh, and it should work just like that. And it's really nice. I like how here it's subscribe, ads. If there were a join button, it would be there too. So it's like everything to do with the channel and every way to support the channel. Uh, and you can really just choose choose when you want ads because you shouldn't be forced to do anything. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is actually part one of a series I'm going to do on just extensions to help you watch YouTube differently. So the next one is how to skip sponsors, which is... 
And the other ones won't only be related to blocking eyes, because that's all I know. But, so here, click, click wherever it is to watch that. Or click the playlist. Oh yes, yes, I was going to say that I actually have, this is not a joke, 0% of my views at time of this recording actually come from subscribers, because this is a dead channel with 100 subscribers. I'm trying to revive it. So I guess for some reason that means you should subscribe. Uh, and my next video will show you how to skip that annoying plea, automatically or not. Uh, so ch check out, look out for that. Should be up already, perhaps. But, you know, and subscribe for that, and subscribe to see my whole uh, series. So, yeah. See you.